Right. So I'm going to start my, you know, my, I'm going to do my thing. <laughs> Hello, viewers and subscribers. I am your host, Jammy One, and today we're going to play Resident Evil 5. Go up! And today with me is Rigitsu. Say hello. Hi, folks. I'm known as Rigitsu, but during this Let's Play, you'll come to know me as Bullet Sponge, Pin Cushion, and Punching Bag. And those exact order. <laughs> yep. Maybe even uh, Roast Broil, too. Roast boil? What? No, broil. You know, like, Wait, uh... why are you a punching bag? You know, well, you'll find out. <laughs> well, as I said, we're both recording, and we'll be both be putting us on our site, and a bag of nuts has just joined. Well, he's not joined us, but he's just there <laughs> on my Windows Live. Anyway, I'm going to set up a lobby, and we're going to... Nope. Select chapter. Now, Rigitsu here kindly completed the game on his own. Mm-hmm. So I am basically familiar with the game, although the fact that I'm using a keyboard and mouse assignment and will play, be, be playing on veteran as opposed to normal will significantly make things more interesting. Ah, yes, and we're playing this on the PC. If you're wondering why I've got Xbox um, buttons, it's because I'm using a controller, and we're playing this game on normal. <laughs> we are? Yes, I know. I kind of carried out at the last minute. <laughs> Because I actually remember this this game, right? I did play on co-op on the 360, and I remember this game being hard at the end. Oh, I yeah. mean, doing it on doing it on um, uh, on veteran is cakewalk when you have unlimited ammo. Now, as you've already seen, I've already have um, two pistols and some ammo, health, and all that. But I won't be picking them out, and of course, Rickett will be getting rid of his own. Yeah, due to the way the game saves your information, unfortunately that stuff is kind of retained. There's no kind of separate save slot to work with. Hmm, I know. I mean, um, you can't start on both of the ver of, of, of the versions, if I remember correctly. I mean, all three of them. Some reason you can't start a new game with you know fresh infantry and so on. So, wait, what am I going to say this for? We don't need to do that. <laughs> but. um... I just don't know, don't understand why they has to just do that. Like, well, we can't, you know, we can't allow you to start a new game. You must keep all your stuff. But there definitely is a difficulty spike towards the end of the game, so I'm a little relieved you decide to opt out of veteran. I would have yeah. still, I would still went around with it, uh, mind you, but I'm still a little bit relieved. Yeah. Well, the problem was I just remember those fucking insects. They were, they can instantly kill you. If I remember correctly, sometimes they can instantly kill you. Oh yeah, uh, we'll definitely display them later on. Oh, I was gonna get frustrated, but I just really want to see Wesker. Wesker's the best thing in this game. Why you got ammunition? Cause Cheva is crazy prepared. <laughs> oh, look at all the goodies. Oh well. Yeah, I bet you got a rocket launch in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Oh, hold on. Not only did you complete this version, but you complete a PS3 version. Yeah, um... <laughs> no, actually, I've beaten... No, I've beaten the PS3 version, but I haven't beaten this one. I've just test recorded, that's all. Oh, and you just got a bunch of stuff? Yeah, it, stuff tends to accumulate pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, I've got, I've got two, like, nine millimeters for some reason. And if I had beat the game, I would probably have the melee vest and the ranged vest as well. I don't get these vests, right? The, uh, the melee vest and the bulletproof vest. Like, you have to put it in your pocket to wear it? Yeah. What? Yeah, you have to heavily consider whether or not you're willing to give up a spot for them. That makes no sense! You know, you know how mind-blowing that is? What the fuck? I never understood when I first played that. Even um, Yahtzee from Zero Punctuation was like, What the fuck was this? Hey, you're talking about a game series where, in, in the inventory screen, a needle takes up as much space as a rocket launcher. Yeah, that's true. I mean, everything takes a a slot. I don't know. It's, uh, oh, here's a little cutscene. But uh, I still prefer the suitcase from Resident Evil 4, just because I like managing things and all that. Uh huh. <laughs> and of course, it kind of makes a bit more sense, even though Leon's um, suitcase exists in a space of its own time. Oh, his own dimension. His invisible uh, metal TARDIS. Oh, the TARDIS. <laughs> Sorry, that was that sort of a joke between us. 
Here we go, folks. The uh, true survival horror game, Resident Evil 5. <laughs> survival horror? Don't talk nonsense. Hey, compared to the nightmare that was Resident Evil 6, this is uh, a hell of a lot better. Yeah, you know you're going to get some angry comments for that. Like, how dare you slam on Resident Evil 6? Resident Evil 6 is a godsend! Actually, it's not, really, it's not really Resident Evil 6. It's Resident Evil 23 or something. If you count all the other side games and whatnot, yeah, definitely. Oh, here comes the badass himself. Including the ones that Capcom doesn't want to acknowledge. I still don't get why Barry isn't in the new, or at least somewhat new, um, Resident Evil, Resident Evil Revelations. Oh my god, are you, uh, are your cutscenes upscaled too? Because mine is a bit blurry. Mine doesn't seem to be blurry, but it's got that stupid widescreen border around them. <laughs> Once I again, mean, this is why I was dumb. This, the game is in full screen, and right now it's on DX9, not DX10. For some reason, Fraps doesn't like recording on DX10. Oh, a dead goat. <laughs> why do I feel pain? <laughs> wait, wait, what did they eat? How, what did they eat goats with? I think never eaten a goat. Uh, potatoes and onions, I guess. I eat lamb, but not goats. Have you had goat milk? Nope. Nice. Yep, there goes Capcom showing out. The frame rate seems to be slightly weird with these cutscenes. But I don't know how it's gonna be I don't know if that's just wraps or something to do with um uh if it's gonna be fine on YouTube, you know. I assume it'll be upscaled fairly decently, probably not as optimized as it could be, but I'll bet. Intel says it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American. Yeah, it's a tiny bit, not blurry, but just not focused. Yeah, but, I'm sure you'll do I mean, fine. were they, I mean, I wonder if this is the, um, like, um, they didn't, um, uh, these are, I know these are in-game cutscenes, but I don't, or it, are they in-game cutscenes? It looks like it's using the in-game engine, so you think it could be, it would be scaled up. This could be MPEG files. I mean, this could be just be video files. I mean, this could be just be in-game recorded. If you want to talk about because, it, um, Resident Evil 4 on the PC oh, yeah. did this. I was going to mention that. You want to see a bad port play Resident Evil 4 on the PC. The cutscenes look horrendous. The, the scenes are a bit choppy. Look, he patted his shoulder. She might have a concealed uh, mole. I know, like, why are you going to... What the fuck is she gonna there conceal wearing all I that? Know. I have a job to do, and I'm gonna see it through. Captain America. <laughs> I'm gonna see it through. Mm. Now that guy means business. The black guy, of course. Ah, uh, here you go, folks. The first tidbits of history you will barely be able to read. Oh, there you it, go. And it's probably wrong as well. <laughs> see, now the game looks decent because we're actually in game. Yeah, but still got the stupid, stupid black border around me. And now they disappeared. Yay! I said, like, you know, it's a little bit choppy gameplay-wise for me, but I probably be fine on fraps. It always is fine. It's always fine when they stop recording. Gross! I never even. I've never seen this before. I, didn't no, I, just, ran, I just ran in here. <laughs> I, I didn't know you could go off the super linear path. Apparently you can, and it will turn to another linear path. And luckily, I put my map on. I should always leave my map on. Oh, what was that? That was a weird jerk. Woo! Oh, oh yeah. Did you just moonwalk? Yep. <laughs> That's not moonwalking. Sheva looks so fucking weird with these um, people. She's just this out of place. I have a shirt just like this. Except for it's black and not uh, blue and white. Black and white. It looks like Exhibit's um, retarded brother. God, I haven't heard his music in a while. <laughs> I haven't. The last time I learned anything from him was X, I think. You're freaking That's me out, man. That's what's new. What the fuck are those eyes? <laughs> oh. Use some Visine, man. Get those eyes uh, cleaned up. 
Are we going to talk to that guy? Hey, Mexican guy! I believe he's Mexican, I'm not sure. I, I think he's Arab, only because there are, is a significant Arab population in Africa. Wait. Like, oops, what? Was I not supposed to go forward? I, I was just wondering what happened there, because I was looking at some boxes. Oh. I, ca it's I a crossed butchery. the threshold. A butchery! <gasps> it's a mystery! Everyone wants to suddenly disappeared! I don't know what's wrong with this. I don't know what's up with this term, but I wouldn't have the goat here. Yeah, the goat might end up being the most suspicious of them all. I'm gonna right. try to do it like a Resident Evil 4 sort of intro, but they just forgot to put in Resident Evil. Have they? I don't remember them ever going Resident Evil 5 or something like that. Now that you said that, yeah, I think you're right. So. Yeah, that's a bit weird. I mean, they did in Resident Evil 4 when you went to the first stop village. And yeah. like, where are we going, bingo? Is this a mystical, magical co-op door that Chris is incapable of moving himself? Actually, I don't know if they do that in Resident Evil 5 as well. I don't know if they put the title, but I don't know if they go to Resident Evil 4. No, they don't, actually. I don't know if they... I kind of forgot what they did with the other Resident Evils when... No, they didn't show tiles. What the fuck am I talking about? They did it at the start when you press, you know, start. What happens at the start? Oh, the tile screen, they always say, oh. Resident Evil. Yeah, that's true. But, um... I was just thinking, did Resident Evil 4 kind of did tile screens? Yeah, when they did the village thing? Funnily enough, I kind of mind-blanked out Resident Evil 6, so I'm not sure if it happens there either. I know they did it in tile screens, but um, I don't know if they do it in, in the game. Yay! Cause you know you're welcomed. I have your weapons for you. You think you're gonna set the next Resident Evil in yeah. North Korea? I don't know. I if, if they do decide to go back to survival horror, I hope it's some out of the place locale like Alaska. The operations already started. Nice. Yay! I got stuff, and I still need to grab stuff. Give me stuff. Oh, we need to equip. Yep, but for some reason it won't let me pick up the vest. Oh, it's okay. Cut scene load. Have the vest. Thank you again, Capcom. Yep, we're gonna show you some titties, cause you know horror and titties mixed together. Found squares up ahead. Go through there. Alpha team's waiting at the deal location. Good. What do you know about oh, the blues? Mostly just rumors. Something about visions of a doomsday project. <gasps> doomsday project. Apparently, it is no rumor. Doomsday is a pushover. Apocalypse is where it's at. Is our only lead. <laughs> and be careful out there. How? Apocalypse is a fucking planet. <laughs> is he? I just know he's a bad dude that Superman squares no, off against. Apocalypse, I'm sure it's Apocalypse, is, Apocalypse is a planet and it's um, dark side to fight on about. <laughs> Damn it, I failed my. Uh, Pop culture role there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and your pop culture. Oh, we got money. Pop and we culture. got maggots. Is that a snake? It's, I think it's an entrail. Maybe. No, it is a snake. That'd be one hell of a weird textured uh, entrail. Have you ever ate a snake before? Nope, I had shark. Oh, it's not a reptile. It doesn't count. A shark is awesome. Oh, look, this little message thing here. Dying. What, what the fuck? I don't need you to tell me about dying. So are you going to uh, bless the readers with your reading skills, or should I read these? Oh, you read them. If I feel like it. Yes. Like I said before, they're not They're not the best ever. The quality certainly went down after Code Veronica. Yeah, and, you know, because my... Oh, well, it's you know, a zero, own, too. Yes, my own reason. My own, um... Reading skills is self-taught, which people don't seem to get. They say, "Oh, your reading skills sucks and all that." Yes, I'm self, I'm self-taught reading. What the fuck do you expect? Still learning, huh? Yep. Skulls! Look at play of skulls. Destroy the skulls. There we go. Hey, they got a little waiting thing here. 
You think they weigh their skulls? That's unrealistic. We just destroyed the skulls and the the scale has become stuck. Yep, the scale becomes stuck and it's indestructible. Patch the well, physics. Oh my god, what have you done to this poor little goat? I had to make sure it's a goat car, I'm not gonna look like Bambi for a moment. <laughs> I don't know, Bambi's a deer, and deers don't come from Africa, I think. No, antelopes and gazelle. Well, I was gonna make sure, cause if so someone might call me, I was like, no, there is deers in Africa. Yeah, how dare you for not being a biologist, Jamie One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how dare you not being a biologist? I mean, what the fuck are you thinking, man? Yeah, you grab that health. There we go. I'm gonna I need it. I to bring up my health again. Is it Y? Yep, it's Y. But. And someone screamed! We better investigate! Because you know, that's how you do things in horror in horror you, games. You investigate. You run towards the scream, you don't run away. Will you do the honors of the uh, oh so annoying partner spam? Partner no. calling spam? No? Fine, I'll do the partner calling spam. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't the partner calling spam, but whatever. Chris. There we go. <laughs> Chris! Chris! <laughs> Albert Weston and William Birkin doing the training facilities. Oh shit. I had a different history there. I don't know what it was. It sounded about Marcus, I think. Resident Evil Zero. We're gonna put this tentacle thing in your mouth. Taste it. It's delicious. It tastes like Kool Aid. I wonder how they cannot see this. I mean. It's not exactly obscured. And how they can't see that either. Yeah, all that his face and red eyes. And glowing red eyes, as a matter of fact. And they're thinking, we should go and help this guy because, you know, nothing freaky happened whatsoever, even though we're in the Resident Evil universe. You can maybe give Sheva a pass, but Chris, no way. I know, Chris is a fucking expert on these things. Well, not these kind of creatures, but on the... On B-movie oh. monsters. Yep. He looks happy. And he doesn't look happy anymore. Chris, you want to step back a bit? Oh shit. Shoot them! I was gonna cover them up. What the hell just happened? Stuff happened. That's because they're not zombies, Chris. And now I'm just getting flashbacks of Resident Evil 1. <sighs> I mean, the old one. I mean, the original one. I'll go and check. Can you play? What was the, what was what Barry said to Jill? Be careful, Jill. He's, in, he's insane or something. Run, Jill. He's insane. <laughs> How did he determine that? He's a serious psychologist now. <laughs> uh. Here, yeah, Joe, take this lockpick. He says, you are the master of unlocking things. <laughs> In the original game, there's a really dumb line where he says, take this. It's especially, it's powerful, especially against living things, which makes no sense because they're not fighting <laughs> living things. Why is he saying that? <laughs> it's powerful against living things. <laughs> I don't even know I never played. I just, um, I never played Resident Evil the first. I mean, I have played Resident Evil 1, but it's not the original one. Mm-hmm. I just found like scenes of that on um, like YouTube when it's all got separated. So bring, bring out. Oh shit! We better run. Here comes the run, cool. Run, 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 run. Oh shit! I know if you play some veteran, a chicken attacks you in this part. Really? I think so. I've seen it before, at least on other people's let's plays and so on. The where there's just this angry chicken just comes out of nowhere and attacks you like, <laughs> like that. Like the Legend of Zelda. What's that attacking chickens in Resident Legend of Zelda? They're called cuckoos, but yeah. Oops, I didn't want to give, I want to mix. Uh, combine. Getting used to this. Yeah, we need to get used to these fucking controls again. Do you need to be healed now? Oh, you don't need to be healed. No one needs to heal. Two people can kick this down. Well, thank you, whoopie do for that. Dude, keep hitting V or whatever it is. Hurry! Yes! Come on! Come on! <laughs> what, okay. you get off Hurry! if people are staring at you? Okay. No, but Sheva does. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm, I'm role-playing. Am I not got full health? 
No, we're not at full health for some reason. Okay, now it looks like a brain in between the snake. Is that? Yeah, hello, look at the snake. Some kind of gray matter mass. I see there's handgun bullets here, which I should not take because you need hands some. What? What did she say? She says, not your average kitchen utensil? Well, no shit, unless your uh, your cook is Shrek. Hey, come over here. I'll cut some bullets for you. All right. Over here. Thank you. Come okay, I already, had, already nicked um, two handgun boxes of bullets, so I shouldn't take any more. Well, I'm not going to investigate that. I was just going to jump back down here. Jump! Whee! Right. Oh, don't leave me behind. It's like the Great Escape, but only bigger. I have actually never seen that movie. I should. I've seen it years and years ago. I've got a DVD of it. And, ooh, that guy is dead. He's dead. He's pretty dead. 5K. Oh, you found 5,000 5, gold? Oh, it's on the nope. wall. Yeah, the there number's saying 5K. There's four there, and there's something there. Is there anything on the roof we can get? No. I bet there's be people saying, You're missing things! You know? This is not a perfect run, folks. Nope, we're not doing a perfect run. We can't be asked doing perfect runs. If you want to do a perfect run, search for a walkthrough, not a let's play. But, if there's something especially interesting that we miss out on, feel free to comment on it, I guess. Really? I was just telling them to keep it themselves. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I've got two low health things. Nah, I think I'll keep that. Shut up. <laughs> I'll give you a hurry up in a minute. Marcus successfully develops the T virus on the progenitor. Yeah, virus. that's the one I got last time. <laughs> but I've got a different one again. Why did he set tires in the ground? Mm. I understand they do it for golf carts and so on, but but for this little path, is someone's going to trip over and just bump? Maybe they keep it for the the little, the little young ones, so they don't bump uh, their shins into the fence. I guess. It's a little medical thing, yeah? Low herb. Am yep. I giving you the, de the designated cleric? <sighs> clerics. I don't like clerics. They always talk about good nature and, you know, they're hippies, really. Well, actually, cler clerics are quite good on D&D. &D. Actually, it depends what kind of D&D, &D, but I never played D&D &D before. Everybody loves the cleric. Now you see this guy's a leader because he's wearing oh, no, no. silver, hey. no mirror tinted sunglasses. Aviators. Wait a minute. The... How did he get caught? I thought he was supposed to be a veteran. See this man? This man has got Kool-Aid in him. We must get the Kool-Aid out of him. <sighs> Jamie, one, you and your references. <laughs> <laughs> Kool-Aid. Wait, wait, wait. Kool-Aid! Kool-Aid! <laughs> I'm assuming this is a... a tight translation. That doesn't matter! They don't They're trying to get a Kool-Aid! Kool-Aid, they're trying to get a Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid! I never understood... I never understood the lack of subtitles in the scene. Maybe it's to enhance the horror? I'm not sure. Dun -dun -dun. All right, time to fortify. Time to fortify. Okay. Now you see they got the guns ready. That means something serious is gonna happen. And time to loot. Loot, 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 loot. We need to loot. No, we don't. I keep getting the wrong button. Hand grenades. I don't want a fucking hand grenade. Oh man, I nicked it anyway. If you're low on ammo, there's some over here. Oh, you got more than me. Yeah, you better take that. Oh, I see a guy's face! Need to shoot him. Yeah, he's gone. Can these gas tanks be shot? I don't Jerry, think so. Jerry cans, whatever. Yeah, Jerry cans. Ah, oh, I got him in the face as well. And oh god, oh god, oh god, here they come. Here you we go. I got the right. I got something. Do I have oh. a laser coming out of my gun? Yep. Not on my screen. I just have the reticle. Well, you don't need it. You don't need it because you're using American keyboards. Uh, they're climbing. No, I got. Them. 
I mean, uh, uh, on the side, of, up the side of the building. Watch out! Yeah, I kind of left him alone for some reason. You know, I thought he wouldn't. Oh god, there's a guy coming in! Oh, you going through the door? What's that behind you? Got it. Time to get behind cover. Come on, come on in here. What the hell are you doing? Just posturing. Get the hell in here. Oh shit! I have posse behind me. Oh shit! Nice. Oh, it. Um, <laughs> get off. Oh, not that music. You know what's gonna happen now. Go run, go run, 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 run. Oh, hang on, boys. Oh god, that guy's there. Run oh, away. Shit. He's got a big axe. Whoa! He hit me. Help me. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. There you go. Thank you. Let's get I the hell run. out of here. I can't do it! Run! Oh, there's a guy with a oh, look, he hit me with his microphone! Lead, the, lead, lead him to the transformer and then shoot it off. Alrighty then. Come and get me. Look, look, look at Look at uh, Chris, this big juice beefcake. You're gonna shoot or should I? I'm gonna shoot. Got you. Yes. My god, turning around is not very pleasant. Uh, there's a gun over here. Oh. Uh, you take the gun, I don't want it. The submachine gun? Yep. Okay, I'm trying to get, work my way back around there. Watch out. You got uh, Mr. Beefaroid and his buddies oh, on the way. Oh, shit. No, I, I've got a grenade. I think I hit something. I'm not sure. Just give me the machine gun ammo. Yes. What I, the I, fuck are you doing here, microphone guy? Oh, he's trying to grab me. And I'm trying to get my gun back out. <laughs> okay, I'm heading back out, trying to get to the submachine gun. Where is it at exactly? On your right. <laughs> oh, oh, they're behind me. There's just no end to them. Try to take the high ground, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm trying to find the big guy, I don't know where he's gone to. Uh, I've kind of gone inside, which is probably not a good idea. He might kill me. Yeah, I'm up top. And I'm just trying to get my stuff here. Ah! Holy crap, what the hell? He just came out of nowhere. I'm trying oh, to hurry to you. Run! I'm trying to hurry, Run! I'm trying to hurry. Are you on the ground? You're on the ground level, right? Yeah, I'm here. I'm dying. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell happened? Did you just die of a heart attack? Yeah. Oh my god. First death, oh. folks. First death. That was bullshit. <laughs> I'm getting killed. What the hell is the point of this scene? The show the emphasis that you're dead? Yes, continue. It says Jamba Joe is deciding to continue. There we go. Oh, uh, I can't believe we died from that bullshit. Yeah, maybe we should just stick together. Yeah, keep to the high ground. Well, uh, we gotta get to the low. We gotta get to um, the buildings to uh, get stuff. Well, this is not too far back. That's annoying. I can't believe we died from that spot. That bot isn't exactly easy to get killed at. Not I guess too. we just fucked around too much. Oh, we don't want to shoot. Nah, uh, you take that. Yeah. Alright. So we're gonna wait for these arseholes to come back again. For, okay, we'll lead uh, Mr. Executioner dude over to the Transformer to weaken him and keep running around. And we also got flame barrels and such. Oh, I see some guys on the window. But where are they? Here we go. Oh, there we go. One of them's kind of buggered off right now. There he is. You like my party invite? It's a bull to the head! Oh shit, you need to get out of the window. You're not invited. 
Oi, access denied. Here we go, folks. It sounds like you said, don't shoot, don't shoot. <laughs> oh shit, they're going to my window. Hand grenade. That's I'm missing! Coming. Why, because of the lag or something else? No, I'm just a shit shot. <laughs> I mean, aiming in this game is a bit weird. It's always it has been weird. Give me the ammo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Time to bug out. To run away! Here comes. Ah! Get off me! I'm coming. No, I'm fine. Oh my god! I just ran into a pack of them. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, I'm jumping the window. Here comes Mr. Beefroy. Oh no, no, the <laughs> fucking door. <laughs> oh, no. Shit. oh yeah, run away! Time to run. Fucking burn, you bastards. I'm equipping a hand grenade. Same here. There we go. Lead him to the transformer. Yeah, and you need to get that submachine gun back again. After I uh, get this, these pack of packs of dudes. I got meat shower. Here he comes. There we go. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Sucked ass. Watch out. Here goes the mic the microphone, yeah. dude. <laughs> Give me the damage to the machine gun. Oh god. Oh my god, what's with all the fire? That was me. That was me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna die. I'm running up top. Okay, I'll come with you. Uh, I've got a healer ready. Oh, fuck. Almost. Here he comes. Here there they come. Yeah. Run! Coming. There's I an explosive to... barrel. Need to reload? Yep. Wait for him, wait for him. Boom! Why did you waste it on those dudes? Don't know. Thought it was a good idea at the time. Oh god, here they come. Run away. No, I don't want that. That's machine gun ammo. Hello, shit. What are you doing staying there? Did he glitch? No. There. Get him. Boom. Chris Redfield, the beefcake. Do 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 do. Hey, watch out! He's he's behind you. Run away! Run away! Oh, you missed. <laughs> uh, when we when we have a moment to breathe, I need the machine gun ammo. Yeah. Also, uh, also, I'm going to heal very soon. Uh, you need to heal yourself, because there's no point wasting it on me since I'm not injured. Okay, I'm going to try and run and find a spot to heal. I need to see if Beefcake is going to follow me. Beefcake, where are you? I found a barrel for you. Oh my god! I'm going to go this way. Oh shit, they're behind me. Oh shit, they're in front of me as well. God damn it! You're everywhere. I'm gonna get out of this way. <laughs> there he is. Oh shit! Get the f get off me! Oi, beefcake! Follow me! Follow me! Follow me! <laughs> what were we? What were we saying about sticking together? <laughs> um. <laughs> Come on, oh. assholes! Where are you? Beefcake, follow me! For some reason they're not taking much interest in me. Oh, I want to kill him. Get, I, I hope we can kill him before uh, the cavalry arrives. We'll get a lot of money. You got him? Nope, not yet, but follow me. I mean, I'm trying to make Beefcake follow me for the moment. Beefcake, would you follow me for a moment? Beefcake, come on. Oh, shit, yeah, Beefcake. I'm, I'm, coming, I'm coming, dude. I'll try to leave him to a fucking barrel. Oh god, there's tons there's of them! Oh, 
Oh god, he's behind us. You need a grenade. Okay, you lead him to the barrel. Yeah, I want to go. I got your back. He's not doing it. There he is. I'm gonna get. I got him. No. 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 Oh, all that ammo, all that effort. We were fucking running too much anyway. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, well, at least we only died once. I, I probably shouldn't have died in the first place. Oh, it's Hunk. No, it's not. I haven't seen him take out Beefcake yet. Darn it, all that money. Oh, at least now we can scab into the area. Do the items stay uh, after the cutscene? I think some do. Oh, this is the end of chapter. Oh, at least chapter one on one. 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 Think we can push on to one. Yeah. Let me see. Damn, my accuracy sucked. <laughs> then again, I was mostly supporting you. With I a B rank uh, accuracy? What the fuck? I've got an S. Um. I didn't realize seventy-eight. I mean, uh, thirty-eight percent counts as an S. Do you think we can push on to one two? Yep, let's do that. It's only been thirty minutes for yeah. episode one. It's, yeah, that'll be safe. Episode one. Buy. Oh, we can buy stuff. Uh, I don't feel like upgrading anything so far, and we'll get a S seventy five for free, which I'll take. Unless you want to be the sniper. Uh, hang on. I could just um, sell all the other weapons I have here, and I've got my ammo. We might as well just take the ammo, you know. Oh, no, wait, no. I say we take it only if we really need it. Yeah, so I'm going to sell the extra guns I have. There's no point, because I have two of the same guns. There you go. I'm going to leave the health alone and leave the ammo alone. We might as well keep that safe for now. Oh, and we also have a ton of treasures, but how are we going to keep track of which treasures we pick up? I have no idea. I haven't picked up any treasures. You picked up the treasures, actually. Um, yeah, uh, no, but they're, but they're in the inventory. Wait, why can I upgrade your gun? <laughs> I've got your gun on display. Oh, no, wait, I'm buying. Fuck. Hang on, I don't want that. Oh, fucking nice. I want to upgrade, not buy. What the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> I was, like, wondering, why am I gonna upgrade your weapon oh no I'm gonna uh, tell me to buy it uh, I'm gonna upgrade my fire so my, uh, my firepower might as well have some more firepower and I think the M92F has the best critical rate I'm not sure though it's either the best critical rate or the most ammunition maybe both I'm not entirely sure uh, well I'm ready all right and uh, the hell get me out of here yeah, just give me the submachine gun ammo when we start. It'll save yep. you an inventory slot. Kirk, we owe you one. You can thank me later. Chris, <laughs> it's yeah, I was like, why is it not doing going. anything? Hurry to the deal coordinates. Here you go. Roger that. Okay, I'm let's scout around for items. Good luck. Could be some things we missed. Nothing over there. <laughs> Nothing. I is there anything here? Part of me thinks the items will have disappeared by now. Yeah, I think that's what's happened. I don't want to piss around for too long, but I'll just take a quick look on our way out. I think everything is gone. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's jump over. <laughs> Damn, you were, you looted this place pretty well. Unless the items did dis just, like I, we said, disappear all by themselves. I looted a bit of that place, but... Did anyone loot? Did you let loot this? What? This place over here? Where Sh I'm standing? I'm trying to find you and I have to look at the map. Yes. Uh, I don't think so. If I did, oh, I, I might have grabbed one item, maybe. I know there was several items in here. So yeah, this place, uh, it seems like the game is like, fuck you, you're not getting these items. Very uncool. Anyways, let's push on. We're okay for now. Okay. There should be more items over here somewhere. Hey, there's a car down there. Oh, more machine gun. 
Uh, you can't have enough of that. You really can't. The thing eats ammo like crazy. I think there's supposed to be something down here. Oh yeah, there's a random... I like uh, it. There's a random barrel down there somewhere. You need to see how you can get down there. I like it when games reward exploration. Yeah, I like that as well. Unlike, um, oh, I don't know, Final Fantasy XIII. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that game was one long hallway. It's, it's immersing you in the atmosphere, man. The atmosphere of a hallway. <laughs> a game of hallways. Oh, I gotta all turn around. Gold! Uh, is that all there is down here? Gold? Yeah, we've got 400, oh. quid, 400 quid for that. Or whatever currency they use down here in Africa. I don't think this is African currency. Kind of like in Resident Evil 4 where they have outdated Spanish money, I think. Yeah, the pesetas. By 2004, yeah. did, were they switched over to the Euro? Yes, I think they were. No, Captain's a chance. So what we got in here? We've got ammunition. Uh, is anyone else in here? Nope, there is a... A dirty old manky seat. Something that, um. Fulton Horse's granddad would have sit on. There's that name again, which I first heard in your Metal Gear Solid 2 Let's Play. Who is he? Oh, Old and Fulton Horses? Yeah. Uh, old and Fulton Horses is uh, a comedy sitcom. Uh, here we go. I'll help you up, I guess, because you know you're the lightest, you're the woman. Alright, for the rest of the game, I'm the designated gopher. I don't know. Oh, I was like, why is that? Ooh, cutscene. A cutscene with a key! We can't have enough keys! Um. Uh. What the hell? What, the, what am I supposed to do? Just to look at that? Uh, I think you're supposed to try and get it somehow. I don't know, there's we a woman can't, down it says here. We, it, says, it says we can't get it. So we just. Am I just supposed to. What the hell? Jump. Looks like the only thing I can do is jump down. Uh. Well, jump down for now. I think I think this is put you there to say, hey look, there's a key there, so let's find another way. Now there was a woman here who wanted to eat my sausage meat, and I didn't love her because, you know, she might bite. Oh, he's not happy. There we go. <laughs> what a hook. I think there's someone behind you. Yep, yep there is someone behind you. More seven machine gun ammo. God's sake, I'm trying to cut you off. You can tell they nerfed the knife in this game compared to Resident Evil 4. Oh, I got an achievement. A cut above. Yeah, they kind of like nerfed it down and all that. Probably because in Resident Evil 4 it was too good. Well, in the Wii version it was, yeah. Twist and kick, damn it. For some reason the flame frame rate is going a bit down. Oh fuck! Ah, oh, I got hit! You need to help yourself out for a moment because I can't. Alright. Nope. Just die! There we go. I helped you out. <laughs> you, Jason you Jason Statham wannabe. I don't think there would be much uh, Jason Statham wannabes around. He's not even wearing a hockey mask. Actually, I think I can help you up here. Yes, I can. All right, I'll be right there. And I'm just gonna cut open this box, and we have ammunition. You're Which I nicked. You're not looking so good, Chris. Nope, I kind of got hit. For some reason, my health seems to be down. I wonder if I need to upgrade it because we only got half a bar for some reason. Ah, uh, now I can mess around up here. Oh God, am I getting attacked? Even more machine gun ammo. Who the fuck is screaming at me? Ah, can you hear that? Vaguely, I think. And again, it could just be general. Oh my god! This is a piano nowhere. Ah, leave me alone! Got it. Why are you showing me the key game? <laughs> I'm heading back your way. Oh, they're coming up for you, man. Leave me alone, you bastards! I know. 
I know you find Chris attractive, but you don't need this. I mean, if you want some hot lemon, just go to fan fiction. Oh, shit. No, that would mostly be Chris and Claire. That's what readers really like. Seriously? <laughs> so they read a bit of incest, is that what they call it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, I, I can't be done with that, I have to read some of that as well. But before anyone of you say that, no, I do not look at my sister that way. That's just disgusting. Didn't even know you had a sister. Uh, I have one. And she's got a stronger Scottish accent, accent than me. Uh, give me this. I keep fucking... Uh, I keep getting mixed up between um, using my knife and my gun. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens to me too. This guy's getting skull crusher. Oh, I wanted, to, I wanted to use that skull crusher. I'm trying to find my way over there. I just don't know where to go. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. Oh, this guy with the box. <sighs> what are you doing? You... Damn it! I wanted to do some kind of special move. They take quite a hit. I know. They, like I said, they definitely nerfed the knife. That was a weird angle. Yes. What the fuck, man? I can't believe they take so much from the knife. Ooh, ooh. What's he doing? He looks a bit too happy. I, I need to figure out how to do a 180. Oh, 180, you just press. Oh, wait, you don't have the same control scheme as I do. Nope. Um, yeah, how would you do a 180? Actually, I'm gonna check this um, upstairs room. Slot from the other side. Wait a minute, that means we can get you in. Hang on, I'm sure there's a way up in this building. Shut up! There's a way in the building. <laughs> Chris is living really funny. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Regetsu! Fuck you! What? Actually, you've got a key. Shouldn't you be able to open this door? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there's a downstairs. Right. No, it says it's locked from the inside. Yeah, I found it downstairs actually, and it's open. Oh, first aid spray I've not picked up yet, and you did? Uh, where the hell are you? Upstairs, and oh my god! That's what you There's get for a woman in here. Uh, I'm sure you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beat over the head. Oh god, what did she do? Chris, yeah, first aid spray right over here. Chris went to the uh, caveman school of seduction. What the fuck? Is there more of them around here somewhere? Yeah, I'm trying to hope I can get myself a shotgun, whatever that is. What was the point of- oh, okay, it didn't use the key. It just had Sheva unlock it normally. I was gonna say, if she used the key to unlock that, what the hell was the point of that? I know. Alright, let's just get the fuck out of here. Arrgh, uh, some fire treasure. Hurry! Come on, Sheva! You were saying something about Shiva. fuck you? <laughs> Yep, I'm going to do it well, because that's how you do things. Hey, it's better than an Echo. <laughs> oh look, we found an American woman. Help! Somebody help me! That yeah. dirty bastard! <laughs> Taking our American women away. Oh he wait, you, it's your American woman, not mine. He just wanted a steak. Okay, I'm going to try and get myself a shotgun. Oh, for some reason I can use the key even though you grabbed it. Oh, you smart bastard. You're getting the best, the better gun. I'm getting the fucking shotgun. You I know what? You know, as soon as we can, I'm going to sell whatever machine gun I get and get the shotgun. Because if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the various machine guns in this game eat up way too much ammunition. Yeah, they do. Actually, I don't want to pause. I want to try and get my shotgun. 
Okay, I kind of forgot how to move items. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Ah, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Chris got teleported. I'm in the middle of moving items and you're like, we're gonna do this. Well, I didn't realize it was gonna teleport you right then and there. Hey, what's wrong? Be careful. What well, do you think what's wrong? She turned into one of those things, didn't she? Look at Chris, he's so comforting. Oh. Those big strong arms. Remember, kids, use a condom. <laughs> you away from vagina mouth women like that. Oh shit! She's come straight at me! She's come how's, from that, how's that for accuracy? She did. She's not dead yet! Oh shit! What the fuck? Whoa! She not dead yet. We just shot her a bunch of times. There she go. Got her. Get him. Gotta reload. There you go. I punched him. No, I don't want to pick up machine gun ammo. I need machine gun ammo. Oh, I just picked up something disgusting. Is there more of these guys around? I hear the music going on. Machine gun ammo, please. Oh, I hear more of them. Oh, right. shit. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, God! Right, right, this is not good. Uh -huh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Behind you! God damn it, I'm gonna get in your way. <laughs> Reloading. Oh, I'm so low on ammo, it's not funny. Machine gun ammo, please. No, oh, there's a guy there. Find you. What the fuck? Damn it, that sucked. Before you use the health item, use it on both of us. There we go, I'm gonna try and punch this guy. There we go. I got green and red, come over here. Alrighty. And we've got full health this time. What the fuck? We only got half and... Oh, whatever. Machine okay, gun. right. I'll, I'll give you the stuff. And What are you doing dancing in front of me like that? <laughs> Alright, give. Thanks. Right, now i got myself a shotgun. Do I think there's anything... Oh wait, there's a door there. Mm, maybe a balcony. Yep. Let's see what goodies that's out here. Let's push on the one two as soon as we can. Have you gone on about me? Whoa! I just Leroy Jenkins that shit. Okay. Come close to us. Come close to us. What are I'll get doing? a grenade. Let me equip a grenade. Yeah, what the hell are they doing? I was gonna throw yeah. a grenade. They kind of buggered off somewhere. And now they're coming back for us. I'm not shooting or doing anything because I thought I was going to be able to throw a grenade, but they just they messed with my plans. Well, that guy just teleported. I know, they're beginning to teleport right now. There you go. Oh, for God's sake, I picked up more of that goddamn machine gun ammo. I saw. There. Right, let me get rid of the shite. Shotgun shells. Uh, okay, uh, give. Here you go. I'll take those beauties. There. Is there anything else around here? Okay, you're going up that way. I'll go this way, I guess. If you can. <laughs> what the fuck was the point on that? There's literally two ways to get through there. Sorry, I got a first. Yeah, that's gonna get fun later on. Open. <laughs> I like how Sheva turns the door and Chris turns the face away from it. Yeah, like well, I'm just gonna face away the door because I'm a man. Cool guys don't look at doors. 
Or what was it? Bad guys don't look at explosions, something like that. Oh, don't tell me it's this fucking thing. You know, this um, liquid. Um, oily, oily piece of shit. <laughs> well, I think it's more turd monster. Eee, the chair's back. I think this chair's stalking us. Have you ever heard of mass production? No, never. I don't believe in mass production. Is there any goodies around here, or are they just gonna leave us bone dry? And rats. Yep. It's a fucking maze in here. Get ready to be teleported. <laughs> I'm gonna teleport you, I'm gonna teleport you. <laughs> no way, you're not gonna teleport me. Oh, you're right, I'm not gonna teleport you, it's the wrong place. Investigate. I don't need to investigate that oh, guy. Oh shit, I like... picked up shotgun shells, here you go. That guy is dead. We don't need to investigate a dead guy. Don't you want to read the thrilling description text? Nope. <laughs> if all they say something, he's got many holes in him. Or they say, what did this? It lets you knock down the ladder. I wonder why. That could just be a generic game mechanic. <laughs> I mean, we don't find the creature here. Hey, the chest over there. We got money! Hurry up! Hurry Shut up. up! Wait a minute, there's more money! <laughs> Hurry up! What, you wanna leave the money behind? Da bitch! <laughs> Looks like we both got teleported into the cutscene. What, in <clears throat> what do you mean what happened here? These guys are dead! That's what's happened! <gasps> Survivor! Hey, who did this? Oh my god, it's Graham McTavish. I still don't get this, because Wesker really did say... Uh, Wesker is the director of the B-A-S-S, if that's... B-A-S-S, is that right? B-S-A-A. It's on his Chris's, uh... B-S-A-A, yeah. Shoulder. I keep thinking it's Bass instead of, you know, that. Uh, but Chris. That's a I don't hard know. drive. <laughs> but... This um, organization has been shown to be, you know, just a flop, so why is it still around in Resident Evil 6? Maybe they turn the name to something good? Hey, hang in there. Maybe. They reclaim the name. Or maybe because it's got uh, Chris Redfield, because, you know, he's a, a nation, international superstar. Look at his arms! It's as big as his fucking head! <laughs> The guy works out. I mean, he can be on par with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Apart from, I would actually take Arnold Schwarzenegger over Chris any day. Tell me, when do arms that size become inconvenient? When you're shopping for clothes or what? <laughs> <laughs> take, taking his blood pressure. Whenever he has to take his blood pressure. Yeah, we can't put this over your arm. <laughs> Look at those faces. They're just like, mm. <laughs> something's happened. Mm. Hey, yeah, there's a box over here. There's I need handgun ammo. There we go. There's more handgun ammo here. I would let you take that. Or at? Uh, well, this here. Oh, okay. There we go. This seems to be it. You love to kick the open doors, don't you? You just can't open them normally. I wonder if Chris Redfield does that, and of course Shiva does that with their own homes. You know, they don't open doors. They just kick them. One thing yeah, I missed. Doctor's meeting. Oh, you can, yeah, you can open the door. Bam! What are you just kicked it in for? One thing I miss about this game is that when you use items, it doesn't ask you if you want to discard it anymore. Oh, yeah, because you can't do it in Resident Evil 6 anymore. It doesn't ask. It's not, the game is not as polite as it used to be. It's like, you want to discard this? Scum. I'm sure there are some players that keep every key item and arrange them in their inventory just to show off. Oh, whatever key items they can oh, hold you open it can hold nicely. <gasps> we got boxes! Just kill the boxes. You are some pirate gold over here. Uh, I got pirate gold as well. Um, dead guy over there. And Maybe we should have Before we do anything, let's venture forth. Yes. And try to find uh, more stuff. I love I this. Like, Teleporting cutscenes so much. I know. I was like, I, I was some um, that's like, oh god, why are we here? I mean, this is not supposed to happen yet. We're supposed to try to go through the door until he comes along. Furnace key. There we go. I got some money. Jesus, wouldn't this be really hot? Dangerous for you? 
Look at Sheva. Yep. Look, look where she's standing. What look is this flame. useful anyway? Look at her. Look at her head. Look where the, the flame is. It's be so I know. Hot. I mean, you would literally burn. Yeah. What is this used for? It's the most inefficient furnace ever. It's a bit large for a furnace. I mean, you can't really cook a pizza in there. Well, you can cook a pizza, but it's a bit inconvenient to have a furnace that big. So, who's going to be the bait? I wonder. I will. <laughs> if he follows you, that is. The problem is, there's some this turd monster might go for, uh, you know, Chris's oily pecs. Because Chris has more meat on him. Oh, wait a minute. We not we not you know, going for the door and such. And it's supposed to. Watch this part. Watch this. Watch this. Look at Chris. He's act. He's holding the key in the weirdest way possible. I know. Why are you doing that? It's a key. I hate fighting this thing later on in the game. Cause you know I have to use a bloody flamethrower. Well, it's not because you know I love flamethrowers. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, plenty of spoilers. I think that's what got Alpha to yeah. Really? I thought it was a talking cat that killed the Alpha Team. But you know that's just that's what I think. <laughs> Time oh, to shit. run! Why you make me the fucking thing? I'll be the obvious juicy bait. If we were on veteran, I think we would have to lure him in here at least three times. Okay, is he gonna be the bait? Who's he gonna follow? Actually, we should have. And we're locked in now. I think we should try and split up to see who follows. Shoot it! Who. Shoot it! What are you doing? Shoot it! Well, I kind of ran off the other side. I don't know who's going to follow who. Okay. I'll stick around. Okay, I'm going to go behind him. And... He's following me! Get ready for the button! Come and get me! Nope. I just threw an incendiary grenade. So he's following you now. Damn, that was a waste of a grenade. Get away from me, tentacles! What's he after you now? Where the hell is it gonna reform at? Oh god, he's on me! Okay, you wanna lure him in there? Yeah, I'll try to lure him in here. Come and get me, you. Over here! Okay, he's coming after me. Good. Just let me know when. He's in. I'm, oh. I'm out. Alright, done. Um. Incredibly oh, slow doors. Close! Oh. No, no, no! Oh, I thought you wanted me to open it back up. You got stuck in there. I'm like thinking, what no. the hell? I was like, why is it not closing? So this thing dead now. Oh, do we have to do this like three times just to, you know, drown us out? Nope. Oh god, I was worried there. He was just standing there, all fine and perfect. But oh, they're gonna make us do this again. I would be worried about where everything is seeping through to. Well, that was easy. This boss is. I've, I've, I've found is always easy. Well, when you have someone competent with you. <laughs> Unlike Sheva, Sheva the, the, the computer AI of Sheva does absolutely fucking nothing apart from getting killed. Does she get locked in there at all? I don't know, but I would assume she would one time. Because you know how the AI is like. Hmm. Oh, I'll kick the door open. Another dead guy. How did he die when that door was locked? I mean, I'm sure he died the same way, unless there's an air vent. Yeah, probably the air vent, right? That's me being silly. Now, yep. what's that? <gasps> I got one. You, you take the rest. I've got one. Oh, you want me to take the rest? Okay, I'll take the rest. Yeah, now we're, we have practically the same. Oh, you have a little more because you upgraded I'm sure there's gun. an emblem run here somewhere. I, for, I keep forgetting that it's in this game they originated because I'm more used to them and seeing them in Resident Evil 6. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna do that, aren't you? Look how the camera zooms in on the, no, the center <laughs> on, on the dead, dead body. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is a dead guy. Remember that. He's important.
I actually think there's another weapon in here. Yep. Someone's watching them. I wonder who. Those look at those snake boots. Oh, oh it's this guy. <laughs> Such I'll a voyeur. Oh, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about him. He kind of reminds me of a punk rocker. A punk rocker. <laughs> yeah, kind of, you know, a 70s punk rocker where there's this all, you know, full of drugs and shit music. He even has the same kind of pants. Yeah. Considering what it did to Alpha Team, I think we're lucky to still be breathing. Oh! What are you talking about? Nothing happened! If we had, we'd probably be dead too. But it was easy to kill, and there was a conveniently placed furnace there. Chris to HQ, do you copy? That's nice connection, Chris. Excellent work out there. We'll analyze the data immediately. This whole town. Wouldn't one of those earrings be a bad idea? You might get caught, and you know, you mean a bad guy could grab him? And aside from that, yeah. There's something new, something we've never encountered before. Our transportation has been taken out too. Requesting a mission update. The mission stands. Is your top priority. We believe you may have fled to the mines on the other side of the train station. Actually, did they mention about Irvin? Maybe at the beginning. I'm not sure, though. Oh, we weren't really paying attention anyway. Well, this story does not exactly inspire the viewer to listen with complete attention. Yes, it's true. I'm sure we can pick this apart with the plot holes. This is insane! You ever get the feeling you're expendable? Oh, Chris, you become so cynical. Why would they expend Chris Redfield? I know, I'd, I'd keep Chris Redfield. I know, he's a veteran. Oh, there we go. Finally. Right, we got achievement, complete hey, chapter. My accuracy two. went up. Yay. You got an S, but I'm still better. I got 82. Hey, I'm, I'm happy with S. View B B S A A. Yeah, that's what would be, that would be my super company called. Bass. B A S S. <laughs> Oh. oh dear. I think we can call it an end for this episode. Definitely. That was a pretty decent start. We we did die once, but oh well. well, well. <laughs> I can't believe we died at the shittest part. This is the part that's the part we're not supposed to die. And it wasn't even on veteran. <laughs> it makes me feel so pathetic. And we've got B for time, you know, twenty one minutes. We, you know, we just took our time. I don't get that because here's the thing, you I know this game in my wallet. I don't think. Would people play this to speedrun? Some people do play to speedrun, of course. Uh, I don't know if it's as popular as like um, other games for speedrunning. It seems that it'd be too clunky for a speedrun. Yeah, because. It would be. And anyway, you can just put un unlimited ammunition on. Mm, anyway, that's. Um, Let's end it there, and I hope you all well, you enjoyed episode one and our mindless ranting and talking about absolute bollocks. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely fun. I look forward to the next time. All right, see you soon, people. Bye bye for now.